Hello everybody, Togal here with Brink and Grok in another episode of Project Ozone. I am I am trying to find these two guys. I was out collecting flowers. You're right. I see ya. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh to your left. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, you guys blend in with the purple flowers. <laughs> you, <do. laughs> you got some cubes for me, my friend? Uh there's one there. Alright, then. I started last time. Somebody else start oh, this time. I've got my uh, magnet on. Me too. Oops. I'm a ninja everything now. We made magnets between episodes. And... Ooh, what wild. is that? It's wild. Oh, wild. What's up, buddy? <laughs> He's purple too, like us. Oh, uh, you Aww. murder. Cluckington. Cluckington. <laughs> oh, that no, 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 no. Definitely no. needs to die. Oh. I was going to save him because he's got a name. Duck. Ducks are bad. Yeah, get Ooh. that. <laughs> All right, Grok, have at it. Alrighty. Uh oh. Invisible stuff? I don't know. I just moved out of the way. There's a dead chicken here. Was that you? <laughs> or was that I was just waiting for something to fall down. Oh, and I kill. threw that. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Your next one. All right. Oh, oh, baby, another sphere, probably. Hopefully. Alrighty. I forgot Let's, to bring uh, my bow. Oh, uh, I have two extra chance cubes that I stole from Brink. Yeah, give them, give them. Oh, do you have your pendant on, by the way? I do. Okay. Let's see what this one gives us. Another sphere. Come on. I have no idea what kind of spheres we can get. Ooh, Ooh, desert. A desert sphere. Ooh. Poor, poor cow is already <laughs> smothered. Poor guy. We got cactus galore here. Oh, that's good. Yep. I'm, I'm going to stay inside and open mine right here. <sighs> Saplings. Seriously? <laughs> well, I guess it's better. Seems you have purchased the Saplings DLC. <laughs> uh, I can't it's going to close up on you. That's all right. You'll, You'll never, never be get able out. to get out, ever. You'll be locked in here forever. You have escaped. You have escaped the wrath of chance cubes for now. Oh, gave you a break. No, <laughs> that can't be. I need to find another one. That's that's that can't be. Right here, yeah. this one. Yep. Which one? This one. That one works. No. Oh, oh come <laughs> on! Release the horde. Let me kill it before it dies because I got looting on my sword and we'll get. Uh -huh. Oh, I got 23 from that. Wow. Nice. Perfect. I got some mana steel. All right. All right. Uh, Ooh, I I'm, guess. I'm getting this one because, you know, if they're yeah. so wimpy. I don't know. I mean, something. Somebody's good. We haven't died in so long. We have free stuff. Come on. This one here. This free one stuff. right here has horror written all over it. Why are we looking for trouble? <laughs> Is there something wrong with you? A Giga Breaker. Mining oh, level stone. Now. Efficiency 10, fortune oh, oh, oh. 3. What? I, I, this thing said now, and then a, a bedrock appeared Here. at my foot. <laughs> hmm. Okay, one more. I just can't stop. <laughs> Why can I not break this one? Oh god, is that a bad sign or something? Pickles! How you doing, Pickles? Why is his name Pickles? The world may never know. You have a that's, nice life, Pickles. That's a cute name, Pickles. Alright, guys, let's get out of here. Uh, sorry, guys, we didn't die. We didn't even have a fight. Maybe this one here. Why are let's you see. trying to die? I'm Leave not trying alone. to die, but... What's wrong with you, man? Oh, poison. No, I think these chance cubes, did we level them or something? Or did... Oh, I even got a, a chance yeah. scanner. I wanted to try this out. Give me a second. Oh. You got a pendant. I got one of these chance cube scanners. Where's another cube? Right where that one was. Uh, way over here to the east. I want to see what this tells me. The chance of this cubes is negative 10. Chance with pendants is zero. <gasps> I heard sizzling. Did you guys hear sizzling? I did. Yeah. Looks like it destroyed something below because I heard the explosion. 
But I don't see anything. No. I didn't have any blocks on me to block you in. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the lights off, scare you a bit. All right, let's get uh, busy. Yeah, we got a lot yeah. of technological things to work on. No, this we don't. Episode. Oh, well, you're I I'm playing with on... flowers. Well, that's kind of technological in a magical sense, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and sleep to turn this rain off. Whoa. I see the insides of myself. Come on. There we go. All right. For this episode, I'm going to work on some reactor power. And uh, it's another line in the achievement book. And I was looking at it. It looks like it's relatively easy to do. So I set up a platform out here. And what I plan to do is power anything that needs to be powered along with what Grok is doing from underneath. Uh, I can also do the power from the main base as well. So it will be sort of like our main power until we get something more powerful. Um, I don't know if Grok needs this power, though. He's got a good idea of what power uh, he's going to be using nah. as well. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm still OK with that. Yeah. Well, it's right next to the Dimlet Research and Dimlet Builder. So we'll have power for that, definitely, at least. And that's a good idea. Yeah. What are you working on, Thor? I'm going to start with Botania. Nice. Uh, but first, I'm totally going to secure this island a bit. How about you, uh, Grok? I am going to set up a, an automated inscriber setup area here behind the ME section so that we can just say, make me a, a gazillion different things and, and let the inscriber do its stuff. Yeah, because we're running low on disk space, right? We need more disks. So, this guy right here. I'm gonna. I made four powered lanterns. I'm gonna put up. And I'm gonna power that with this windmill here that we got. So we can have no surprises over here anymore. Um. How far does this get? I'm gonna set up one powered lantern right here. Far enough? Close enough. Yep. And then from here, I'm gonna go here. From here, I'm gonna go. Ah. There. I'm gonna build a reactor that has eight Eulorium fuel rods. Like I got everything to complete the We're building a reactor. Yeah. So let's claim our reward. And it's a bag. Bag. Do you ever get any spawns over on the on the crop island? Rock. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did win. Uh, oh, as far as mobs, no. Uh, I've got everything lit up, so that's just fine. And they won't spawn as near as I can tell. They don't spawn on tilled earth. Well, you get a you get a light anyway. Yeah, I've got light enough to to keep everything from oh, spawning anyway. Far. Let's go to. Here. That is a nice light. What is this immersive engineering? Yeah, powered lantern. Very nice. Up spawning in a thirty-two block radius. There oh, we go. We got a little spawn protect protection. It. That'll be nice. Bing, bada bing, and let's get going with Botania. I know the quest book is not open for it yet, but I want to get started on it anyway. Um, it's a sapling and a book, right? Lexica. Oh, we have a million of those, don't we? By the way, guys, uh, Grok has a nice tutorial on this. Very easily laid out and clear to understand if you want to check it out. I even did a, a update, so it uh, requires fewer resources. But it was my very first video. Uh, but I bet it in, involves ducks or something, doesn't it? Sadly, there are no <laughs> ducks in it. <laughs> but we can hope. Uh, do we have water? Some endless water source. I... Water... Wait, we have the Erebus? Did you yes. guys know we have the Erebus? 
that water sword. In plating? I'm gonna need some more casings. Oh my. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a water source. Not even gonna mess around with that. Hmm. All right, where am I gonna put? Da -da -da. I am. There we go. Look at all this free water right there. Perfect. Bada bing, bada bang. By the way, I gotta mention uh, Thor made these magnets for us. They're very helpful, especially when I'm working so precariously over uh, the void mm -hmm. here. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking mine. So I need some more reactor casings and maybe some glass. Nah, I won't do the glass. We're not gonna be looking at it, so I don't care about it. All right. Metal Apothecary. Oops. Oblicious. Oh, um, I'm gonna need a crafting table over here. Labs. Let's see what flowers do we have the most. Let's use lime green and I'm gonna need some in a minute. And I forgot to bring. Oh, well, no. I've been trying to figure out why I couldn't get these ender, uh, these ender item conduits to connect. And then it just re it just occurred to me. These are the stupid energy conduits. Of course, they're not connecting like I'm wanting them to. Yeah, I know a guy that made a really good tutorial about this. Could you find him? That would be fantastic. <laughs> you should watch his episode on it. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Well, they're green. Totally forgot about these reactor control rods that I need. Eight of those. I totally want slabs. Man, it's unbelievable how fast I get used to having creative flight. I find that amazing. Oh, uh, yeah, the platinum chests are not good. Don't ever use oh? them, guys. Why? Because they're not tied in with inventory tweaks. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. No buttons, nothing. Well, that shouldn't matter for this this thing. No, I'm I'm using it over here in the Botania area. It's not oh, all yeah. about, it's not all about you, man. It's not all about you. No. Nope. <laughs> it should be all about me. I totally forgot about the coolant. I'm gonna put a coolant in here. Which one are you gonna go for? I'm gonna go tops. We're doing OP here. Let's go with Jellid. Where's it? We have seven gelid cryothium already made <laughs> from uh, achievements. That's crazy. All right. So, your daisy. Just white. And I'm going to... So, that's one, two, three, four. I'll go... I'm going to make four just to speed this up. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting the florbs no. back. That's... This must be an old version of Botania. It doesn't have the auto refill. Oh, it does. You just don't see it. Oh, never mind. I'll take it back. Looks like whenever this touches gelid cryothium, it doesn't break open. So. 
I'm gonna have to open these up separately and and bucket them in, I guess. That'll work. Perfect. And I'm just gonna make a bunch of living rock and living wood here real quick. And then when I have enough together, we are going to set up. Actually, I can already make flowers, can't I? Oh, but I still need the spreader and so on. But I can get started on the flowers. We're going to make some day blooms. So that's yellow, light blue, orange. And I wonder if they're tweaked. You guys know by any chance? Uh, the what? I if don't Botania know if they will any decay faster, or not. No, I'm not talking about that, but just if they're going to produce like an insane amount of power, uh, mana. Oh, oh no, I'm, I'm sure, sure that's the case. You know, like everything has been four seconds and we got a full mana pool or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, we have some lotus flowers in here if you want to start off with that. Uh, I got to make some mana first because if you drop a black lotus in an empty pool, it's gone. Wastes it. Right, you got to start off with a little bit at least. Yeah. I'm just going to make a few days. So, if I grab some of this blizz, instead of crafting it, I pulverize it, I get double output. Put in a pulverizer here. Hello? Oh, magnet? Really? Why is this magnet not sucking the stuff in? Just click it. It's glowing, yeah? Oh. Uh. That's interesting. It does the living wood, but not the living rock. Huh. Ooh, m must be a glitch. See there? Interesting. All right, let's make one, two. I have no idea how much mana we'll need in this pack, but we're going to make four mana pools. All the mana. And let's just start. Ooh. What is this? Ooh. What is an arcane prism? Is it a thumbcraft? Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. We need to do Aura Cascade. Oh. I. Uh. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's different. It's going to be especially interesting because I have never done Aura Cascade before. But that's I've awesome. I've seen a little bit of it, but I'm not too confident in doing it. How about you, Grok? I have not touched it. I would like to. Huh. Um... And there it just went PG. <laughs> as long as it's PG, I'm okay with it. Um, so we cannot make a mana spreader, but I can set these up. And we're going to put this somewhere up front here. Let's put it here. I can always extend the platform. All right, let me go ahead and start working on things here. So an arcane prism, huh? Not you. Oh, so I yeah. need eight different colors, so that means I need... What is this? Oh, it all revolves around gold and iron as the beginning source. Do you I'm have enough? More drying. Make this. Uh, this probably is something made that I don't know how. Amor it looks like drain. Gold. It looks like gold and iron is where you start. Yeah, but I need the amor drain also, and that dust doesn't show a recipe besides pulverizing ingots. Uh, recipe for the ingot is with a philosopher's stone, but maybe I can make these nuggets. Oh. 
All right, let's check here. Does Aura Cascade? I think Aura Cascade has a book. A Mordrine is an alloy in Nether Metals. Metals uh, relatively high enchantability and experience. It can be crafted by combining platinum dust and calendrite dust. So why does it not show me that? We have NEI. platinum. And we don't have Calendrine. So I'm gonna have to go mining in another, I guess, huh? You wanna save it for another episode and do something else different? Um... Because that looks like it's gonna take a long time just to get a spreader. Yeah. Yeah, I think that between this and next episode, I'm gonna go to the nether and just look for... A bunch of that calendrite, I guess, that I'll need. Platinum we have, that's uh, shiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have three back here, three dusts. But shiny should work also as a alternate. You're real close with the reactor. Yeah, just waiting for the smeltery to finish the gelid cryothium. Oh, and it's I down here, I see. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for the uses on the Platinum. Yeah, it doesn't show on the NEI, so I hope... It's shiny. No, I'm... A Platinum oh, yeah. is what he saw. Yeah. It should just swap over with shiny. I right. Well, there's no recipe to make that... Yeah, we're saying there's no recipe is what the issue is. To make that Amor Drine dust, so... I gotta um, hope that I find it. You know what? I, I do... I don't want to leave people hanging right now. Right. So I am gonna go in the nether real quick. And, you know, with the flight, I can just hug the ceiling. And hopefully find one of these talent, right? All we need is one. We have the... the... Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> who, who, who angered all the... I don't think The pigmen. Oh, they beat me up right away when I got through. Oh, yeah? But this armor seemed to be like, eh, whatever. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna turn on my magnet and grab that ghast. Found some plant. Maybe, huh? maybe uh, Grok can make a tier plant. Uh, yes. If if I have four uh, ghast tiers, I can make a tier plant. All right. What you know you... what? What is it called? Calendrite. It. Oh, that's gonna be so hard to see. It's purplish in Purple. the netherrack. Okay. Oh man. Bet you anything that's going to be super hard to see. It's probably going to be harder than uh, Cobalt, too. Yeah, but I got the highest pick. I got Enderium pick, so... There's nothing... I don't think there's anything that I cannot pick with this. I hope so. That would be... Ooh, there's some purplish right there. What are you? Draconium. All right, come to Papa. Yeah. Got some, got some more platinum here. That is going to be so hard to find. All right. This sounds like too much fun. I'm going to have to do this. What? Do this, Brutus. Nether hunting. With all the spiders. Let's just fly. <laughs> they yep. can't get to you. Uh -huh. This armor is so awesome. Oh, I am loving being able to fly. Oh, we, the, the, the mechanism jetpacks are good. Especially yep. because they had a, a, like a, a tank that lasted two weeks when you filled it. As, as first flight, it's not a bad jetpack. Oh, there it is. I we had it, what, on the second day? Mithril is also... Whatchamacallit? <laughs> platinum. Isn't Mithril Thir platinum? Turkey class, I found. The rare metal. All right. So I've got one guest here. Watch, there's like a bunch of viewers yelling at me right now. There was one right there! How did you not see it? Ooh, pig iron. Up with a name, Colin Grok. Okay, it's, it's iron of extra porcine size. Watch in this pack there's some some different way of making Yeah. Making after, it or something. After we make it. Surprise, you could have just uh, put <laughs> put water on the floor and it appears. <laughs> I am going to try that. <laughs> well we had a few spills, so 
I doubt it. Calendrite? Yes. All right, I found one. Awesome. Oh, God. Where, where's home? But you were Did right I'm... that it is so hard to find. I had no idea why I marked X. Portless there. Well, all I need right now is just one. I just want to test if I can make this weird metal. And if yes, then Arnie? I know between episodes I'm going to go hunting for the stuff. Well, and... then I'll, I'll stop harvesting this... Uh... The the ore of extra large porcine qualities. What am I getting? I'm just killing off all the zombie pigmen in the area because they're really mad at us. Yeah, I hold your through. horses. Ooh, pigmen head! Oh yeah. Um. There's none right there. No, there's none right there. No, I don't see any. <laughs> I where I is it? Where is it? Where? Right here. I have no idea where that. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> <laughs> right outside the portal. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That is so. Stadium. And all three of us passed it. I'll snag this mithril. Oh, you're doubling it. You're a smart guy. Yep, mana infused this me thrill. Okay, platinum better be shiny, yes. And calendrite, I'm pretty sure I cannot smelt. Right? Richmond Chamber three, full riser three with a chance. All right, give it to me. Oh wow. We get four pulverized shiny per ore. Did you guys know that? Yep. Oh, nice. So before you combine it, why don't you give it to... I can't Rox. combine it. No, the calendrite. I already pulverized it. Oh, can we make ingots? Yeah, if you can do a search. Four. Well, here, let me look for the seeds. Well, right now I wanted to find out if I can make that amordrine. Which says it takes a platinum and a calendrite dust. No seeds. And platinum is the shiny. So it does not make me that emor drying. So there's got to be another way we can make that. I'm going to have to check it. I just, um, after a long search, uh, I see somebody on the interwebs. They put the calendrite and the shiny or platinum in the smeltery at least they show the recipe in their nei but it doesn't show for us so i'm gonna try it in there and if that doesn't work then i have no idea how we're gonna do this you said how much rf does this to make a uh, 460. okay you want to turn it off yep well, that is bonkers crazy but that's how we roll. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> crazy. I mean, what are we gonna power with this? Half a million RF a tick. <laughs> and what? What's the fuel consumption? Did you check that? Yeah, point one six. I can fine tune it. Like I said, oh I'm my gonna go to god! The, I'm, gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to the website and fine tune it. That's all right. I mean, we have a lot of eulorium. Yeah. And I've got four Eulorium to make the plants. I need a lot of gold and iron for the next episode for this Aura Cascade stuff. That requires right. a lot. I mean, I mean, yep, it made it. Molten Amordrine. Okay. So that All made right. it. So, so with it, we'll be able to make the spreader. Is this what we're doing? That's the what the, the spreader is for, yeah. Huh. Um, let me this here. That's just weird. We uh, why don't you... Automated it, have we? You can pull out on blocks. I guess I think you got twenty there. Yeah, there's twenty. Yep. Two blocks and two ingots. I think those guys think I'm a. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brink. I think Thor's a noob. No, I'm a derp. I'm a licensed derp. 
That's what I am. Cool. So I know how to make this stuff. Like I said, between episodes, I'm going to go hunt more of this calendrite and platinum in the nether to make more. And Grok's going to make me a billion golden iron, right, Grok? Yes. Yeah, you are uh, awesome. Uh, one or you know, one or two you know off of a billion, but really yeah. close to a billion. And what I'm gonna make between episodes, guys, just so you know, um, in Botania. Oh, I can't. I need mana first. So we're gonna have to make one spreader first for sure. But I want to make the the what's the flower called that makes me flowers? Jaded, uh, amaranthus. Jaded, amaranthus. Jaded amaranthus. Yeah, that one. So we need to make one of these. Um, so I can get more. Of the flowers, because I also need a ton of dye for all this aura cascade stuff here. But yeah, anybody want to take it out? I took it in. Let me you guys take it out. Alrighty, I can do that. Oh. Let me get in well, his face. guys, hey, hey, hey. get on my face. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow, hey. My armor was perfect. You messed up my armor. <laughs> anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here with Thor and Brink What's having up? too much fun here in Project Ozone. There are a bunch of people. Uh, check the, the links down below uh, to check each other's uh, point of view to see what we're doing. And everybody else on the FTOG team, uh, check out their Project Ozone or other uh, series and show them some love. Subscribe to them. Give them tons of money. Bake them cakes. Do all sorts of good stuff for them. Anyway. I think I'm done. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye, everybody. I'm going to wait for a few seconds. Bye.